So we can also have limits get to be very, very big negative numbers. So you have to take into consideration when you're doing these kind of limits to infinity, does my answer get really big or really small? Because that's usually what happens when things go to infinity. And then does it become positive or negative? So this limit is n goes to a very big negative number. Well, overall, if I put bigger and bigger numbers in, this is going to get huge, right? Because I'm cubing it. Cubing it makes it even bigger. But if I threw a negative number in there, would that answer stay negative or would it change to positive? It would stay negative because of the cube. So we would say that this limit is negative infinity. And we get to come to this rule here. So here we have a little rule about exponents. Okay? If your exponent is getting larger, is larger than 1, what that will do is we'll keep making your numbers larger and bigger and bigger and bigger as you go. So if you would plug in a number to infinity, then that it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If we start looking at exponents that were less than 1 and into the negatives here, because this is, this is the same question. It could be written as an exponent where the exponent is less than 1. In fact, it's in a negative. It's the same as 1 over n. This is like that Facebook question with lots of friends, but now you only have one cake. And you're trying to increase your friends to infinity. How much are they each going to get? If you really like cake, don't have any friends, then you can eat the whole thing. So now we can start to combine some of these ideas and put them into different parts. Here we've got an expression where part of it has the n. So if we look just at this part, as that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, that's going to equal 0. This part is going to equal 0 as you get larger and larger and larger values of n. Then what does the whole expression look like? If I had a very large value of n in there, I'm going to be having 5 subtract something that's very close to 0, my whole entire limit will equal 5. So we can look at this idea. Whenever you have a large exponent on the bottom, large power on the bottom, that means your number on the bottom is getting larger and larger and larger. Anytime you take that infinite limit, you're going to be getting closer and closer to 0.